Hello friends, in this video we will look at finding the maximum and minimum in each row and column of a two dimensional array. Suppose you have an array like this in which you have 1, 2, 3 then there are the second row of the array you have 1, 3, 2 and then in the third row of the array you have 5, 2, 4 and like this you have a 3 by 3 array with you which is a matrix of two, uh, size 3 by 3. So in this one in the first row 1, 2, 3 the maximum element is 3 and the minimum element is 1. In the second row also the maximum element is 3 and the minimum element is 1. And in the third row, the maximum element is 5 and the minimum element is 2. Similarly, in the column of 1, 1, 5, the maximum element is 5 and minimum is 1. And then in the column of 2, 2, 3, the maximum is 2 and minimum is, sorry, maximum is 3 and minimum is 2. And in this 4, 2, 3, maximum is 4 and minimum is 2. So like this, we want to find the maximum and minimum for each row and column. So we will write the program for the same. So the heading is C program to find the maximum and minimum in a 2D array. And we will be taking a numeric array for our program. So again we need the hash includes. So we write hash include stdio.h and we won't require any other header file. And uh, then what we require is the array. So we have int arr size 10 and 10 by 5. So there are 10 rows and 5 columns in the array. And then we will write the main, so void main and our first job is to read the array into the program. So we need a index int i and we need a index j. So what we will do is for loop for i is equal to 0, i less than the number of rows which is 10 and i plus plus and then we need a for loop within this. So for j is equal to 0, j is less than the number of columns which is 5 and j plus plus and within this we will put brackets again and what we will do is we will scan the values for the array. So scan a percentage d and we will write the array element so a of i and j. So we'll read the element into the array. So let us beautify this. What we will do is we will put a message here. Printf. Enter the elements in the array. Okay. And let me make one change here. Let me not take 10 size. Otherwise we have to enter 50 elements. So I will use 3 size. So that only 15 elements need to be entered. So here also in size we will make it 3. Otherwise we have to enter 5, 0, 50 elements. Now only 1, 5 elements, 15 elements we have to enter. So this is the scanf and here we can give a friendly message. Printf slash n you are entering percentage a of percentage d a of percentage d element so that you know what you are entering and you print here i and j so that you keep a track what you are entering over here otherwise it is very easy to get confused so here also you put a new line so that the output is neat and clean so now that you have read the elements now what we will do for i is equal to 0, i less than 3, 
i plus plus and within this we will put the other for loop for j is equal to 0 j less than 5 j plus plus and within this what we are going to do is if so we will use a row max and a column max so at the top we will declare int max comma min two variables we will require and here at the beginning of the for loop for i we will say max is equal to min is equal to a of i 0. So, we will copy the first element of the array whatever array uh, we are referring to the first element of that one into the max and the min and we will say if max is less than a of i and j then what we will do max is equal to a of i j okay and similarly we will say if min is more than a of i j then we will say min is equal to a of i and we will put here j. So, we have copied the maximum and the minimum and here after the for loop for j that is the column uh, before going into the next iteration of i we will print f that the row max is percentage b and min is percentage d and here we will write max comma min so this is going to print the maximum and minimum for the row and the for the rows and now we have to write for the column so we will copy this from here and what we will do is same thing we have copied instead of the for loop for i at the top we will copy the for loop for the j at the top so interchange the i and the j loops so now the row is going to change later the column will change fast and then everything else will remain the same except here you will write a of j everything else will remain the same another thing that we will do here is before we will perform the finding max and min we will print the array so that the user can easily see that what they have entered and what are the maximums and the minimums it is calculating for us. So, we will simply put the for loops And we will say printf and slash n and we will say printf and we will make use of slash t here for tab and we will print the element percentage d and here we will write a of i and j. Now let us execute this one execute compile and run so here we are asked he's asking for the elements so 5 4 3 2 1 is the first row that we have entered then 7 8 9 and uh, now it is asking for the third row so 12 23 24 41 11 so, the arrays that we have entered are 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, out of this the maximum is 5 and the minimum is 1. In the second row maximum is 8 and the minimum is 4. Then in the third row the maximum is 41 and the minimum is 11. And then for the columns there are 
five columns. So the, for the first column, the maximum is 12 and the minimum is 5. For the second column, maximum is 23 and the minimum is 4. Then for the third column, maximum is 34, minimum is 3. Then for the fourth column, maximum is 41, minimum is, okay, minimum which is not calculating right here. Something is wrong. Okay, let us see. And then we have maximum 11 and minimum which is calculating is minus 1. So let us see what is right, wrong with the fourth one over here. Oh, the problem was that we wrote here like this j comma 0 but it should be 0 comma j because we want to read the 0th element of the jth column. So that was the problem. Now it is giving the correct output. Let us, let us see how what kind of output it is giving. So compile and run. So it is asking for the elements. Now I will be entering different elements because uh, it is difficult to enter the same elements. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, 7, 6, 5, 8, 4 and then 12, 13, 14, 41, 11. So I have tried to enter the same elements and you can see here in the fourth row it is giving 41, fourth column it is giving 41 and 2 as the minimum and 11 and 1 as the minimum. So now we are getting the correct outputs. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you very much.